M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are, we've got the Yesu 857D and we've got it hooked up with the HRI 200 box because you can actually use analog with a HRI box. You do have to talk via your handheld. So if you look at the frequency on here, it's 14500 and it is on the handheld. So when we talk and receive, we will be doing it via a handheld, but an analog handheld. So it could actually be a Bofeng. And there's the Wires X box, and I'll show you, it is, it is connected now, and I'll show you the screen of Wires X. That's what it looks like. Now, where you set the transceiver frequency is you go to File Settings here. So if we just show you that. File, Transceiver, and the frequency is there. Look, you can send, set tones and shifts. Now, it doesn't reboot with the other some of the other Yesu radios. It will actually reboot the radio when you put that in but you have to manually select this so i'll just show you the connection so one end of the usb cable just goes into the the pc here so on the back of the radio you've it's just one lead that connects here see the black lead here that one there that is a six pin lead that's in most yesu radios and then that goes up and you've got the back of the so we get some light on here the back of the radio the unit says radio one and that is a 10 pin connection so this lead comes with the hri box the other thing you've got is a usb like a printer style connector and that's the one that goes across to the laptop now you do have to register with wires x to get a number so you can do this and now if you get hri box will you register that box anyway and you know you can get these now second hand for about 70 pound i think they're quite good and you'll get your own room number but if you haven't got a C4FM radio, then you're going to have to do what I'm doing now, where I'm using an, an old, older radios with six pin connectors to, to just tap into the WireZX system. To register, you just click here. Just here, click member registration. Then you've got an email. Put your email down here. And then they will reply to you and you fill it out. And a few days later, you've got a number and then you'll be able to log in. And when you log into your system, which I'll do now, you'll get all the download links that you need for the software that I'm running. And the software looks like this and it says ready here and we're all linked as HRI 200. When you are running a HRI 200 box, you don't have to register every radio. You only register the box. So that's another plus. But you do lose the radio. The radio becomes a donor. So we've logged into my account. This is after I've had my number. If we go to no donors page, everything you need is here. The drivers, the software, it's all here and lots of help as well. And lots more information about using this system. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, the WiseX system. I just think it's very good. So we're on here now and there's no one talking at the moment. But when they do talk, you uh, it will come up here. These are all the node rooms that are actually connected. And in the middle section here, uh, you have the users in the middle here and at the bottom you have the rooms and you can right click and you can save these rooms like right click, right click and you can bookmark them, add to bookmark and the bookmark appears here. So this window where all the connections is movable, so is this window and you can actually add a photograph and exchange a QSL digital card with this as well. You see, so look, if we, we've just added that room there, so we can also go connect to, if you go here, connect to we can go connect to, we can actually type in room numbers. And I've, I have got my friend on here. I'm going to give him a call and see if he, if he can hear me. Because the problem I had the other day when I did the analog connection was um, he couldn't, I could hear, he could hear me. I couldn't hear, hear him through the system. But anyway, let's just disconnect what we're connected to now. So you go like so, connect, disconnect. You heard the radio. Just, I missed that. I'll just connect and then reconnect just so you can see how the radio is talking. So we'll go connect, connect to, and I'll just go back to, that was America Link, that was. And then, then we'll just, I'll select disconnect and watch what happens to the radios. The 857 will transmit. The disconnect is telling everyone that we're disconnecting. So what we're going to do is connect to CQ UK. So we'll just right click and connect. And if someone's speaking, we should hear them. Now, did it connect? Move this out of the way. Yeah, it looks like we have connected. Let's move this up here. But it is saying at the moment that they are speaking and I'm not hearing anyone, which um, is a problem I had the other days. 
it's hearing people. So let's just try again. We obviously need the volume up on the actual radio. So right now the radio should be TXing. I can see now that someone is talking. But it is an old radio, Yesu 857, but it did send the command. Now what it could be, it could be that that's a, that could be a digital connection, you know, like C4FM. So I'm going to get my friend to connect his analog connection. Okay, well you've seen the setup, so what we're going to do now is talk to my friend in Cheddar, M6LSJ. <coughs> We've connected to the room Alabama Link, which is number... So here we are. Oh, you can hear someone coming through there. So don't forget, we're not using any C4FM radios. So 28933. Now we probably need to set up our audio. So to set up our sound, we go view. Then we go to audio. And when someone speaks, it will actually show up here and you can adjust things. You can even got a shortcut here to your settings in your actual computer. So I'm going to call Lionel and then we're going to see all this working. I'll leave that window open so we can actually show that window flashing. You can see me connected. So I'm just going to grab my handheld now. Lionel, I'm going to be talking away from it a little bit, so I might not be loud. So let's just uh, call my friend Lionel. M6LSJ. M0FXB calling you via my Yesu FT5 and my Yesu FT70 in analog mode. There you are. So that's working fine. Now uh, I'm going to see how, how loud my audio is and then uh, make some adjustments and you make them here.